here is something that Billy Graham said a few years ago. Nothing takes God by surprise. Everything is moving according to a plan, and God wants you to be a part of that plan. I like that. In Proverbs 16, verse 9, it says, We can make our plans, but God determines our steps. Well, I certainly want God to determine my steps, and I know that you do also. Because we've all been in a maze of life and trying to figure our way out, and we've all tried to push our own way, and we know what happened then. It was a disaster, usually. You remember the popular song of a few years back, My Way? It's a great song, but it is not a good guide for life. If you're looking for life's perfect prescription, let me give it to you. You better forget about doing things your way and concentrate on doing things God's way. At times, even when you're trying to do God's will, you may feel stumped and you may wonder, what now, Lord? But if you earnestly seek God's will for your life, it will come to you in the exact and proper time. Sometimes God's plans seem crystal clear, and sometimes our vision is more cloudy. And sometimes it's just not the right time for God to reveal fully God's plan for us. So when we're praying for God's way, let's be patient. Let's keep searching, keep praying. If you trust God to determine your steps, God will be faithful to guide you. And in time, God will answer your prayers, and make God's plans known, even if it is only for the next step. There have been many times in my life that I've gotten guidance like that, and I know why, because I couldn't comprehend the full vision. I wouldn't have had a clue. Matter of fact, if God would have given it to me, it would have frozen me in my place in my own fears. So God was gentle, as it says in the Bible, giving me only a little bit, as much as I could take, and giving me that step, and then I'd take another step as guided, and another, and it led to the big things in life. So today, let's do things God's way. And over time, even if it's just step by step, we will be eternally glad as we stand and look back on where we've come from. God bless you.